Alright everyone, welcome to the semi-final episode of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, the beginning of Destiny. And in this episode, we will be finishing off this lady and moving on to the first part of the final duel. We won't finish the first part, that will be finished off in the finale. Which will be up tomorrow. <clears throat> Ooh, not much to talk about, really. Hmm. Let's see. Last night was... Let's see. Last night was Destiny Deoxys. And... That was alright. It was a lot better than Drachi Wishmaker. You know, because it actually had a plot. More than, hey, let's get this person from point A to point B. No, this one actually had a whole lot going, but not as good as Lucario the Mystery of Mew. Because in my opinion, Lucar what made Lucario the Mystery of Mew so good was that it didn't really have a bad guy, per se. The entire thing was just a quest for understanding. You know, it wasn't like, oh hey, this Pokemon is trying to destroy the world or stop all trainers from, you know, or stealing all our Pokemon. Or you have this guy that's trying to capture all the legendary Pokemon, or any of that. No, there was none of that in Lucario Mystery Mew. It was just a giant quest for... Just a giant quest for understanding. And that's what a lot of these other ones just aren't. You know, like, George Wishmaker, there's a clear bad guy, it's Butler. And he just wants George's power for his own use. You know, Destiny Deoxys. You have Deoxys and Rayquaza battling it out in the giant city. Which is awesome, it's really good. But again, it's still just a regular Pokemon movie. It doesn't differentiate itself enough from the other ones like Lucario and the Mystery of Mew did. I really do hate Mondays. Monday is the worst day of the week. Because it's my mother's only day off. And she never spends it just relaxing. She spends it yelling and screaming at everyone. And working all day. And she just doesn't bother to relax. Or let any of us relax. It's weird. <clears throat> hmm. So yeah, uh, this lady here is a really, really weird lady. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, now we've beaten the vampire lady. And so, yeah, the, the, she has the really creepy face that gives me the chills every time I see it. In fact, I'm not even going to look at it in the video preview. It's just so creepy. Ugh, I just can't look at it. It's just weird and creepy. So weird. Still can't look at it. Okay. It's off my screen. It's never coming back. No, I just want to hold someone to hold me after seeing that. And as you can see, I tried returning to see if I can save. And once you beat that vampire lady, you are not allowed to save. The vampire right the duel before that vampire lady is your last chance to save, unfortunately, between beating her and beating the game. There is no other way to save. But yeah, so now we're take now we get a big bunch of dialogue between a guy in a capsule known as Kagemaru and Chancellor Shepard. Basically, where Kagemaru tells us why he built the school in this specific spot, 
And he's also telling us about these sacred beasts, or in the original Yu-Gi-Oh, they were known as the the Egyptian gods. And in this game, the uh, Kage Maru is the only one in this game that has the power to control the sacred sacred beasts, or at least for right now. I mean, he will not hesitate to use them against you, but if you know how to, if you know their weaknesses. If you know each sacred beast, like, uh, one flaw, they're actually pretty easy to get around. Or at least one of them is. I actually, and all, I had to duel this guy. Like, okay, his first form is easy, I only had to duel him once. But, the actual final duel is pretty hard. I had to duel that guy several times, and never once did he use, uh, the sacred beast version of Ra. Uh, whatever the Ra one is called. I don't know. But yeah. The sacred beasts do work in the same way the Egyptian gods do. You know, they all have the same special ability. So if you know, this, you know the weakness... Well, except for the obelisk one. The obelisk one has another thing that seems weird. Like, um, it can summon copies of itself or something. Okay, so if you ever come up against this sacred beast... Um, the f flaw with certain one the only flaw I could think of is with the one that's supposed to be like Slifer, and like Slifer, it gains. Except with Slifer, it's a bit different. Instead of gaining a thousand, uh, no, attack points for each card in your hand, it gains a thousand attack points for each eternal trap in your graveyard. And every trap of Kagemaru's is basically an eternal trap. So, yeah. But if you manage to get out a card, because uh, that one's uh, original attack will always be zero. So if you have something like, if you manage to get out, like with me, it would be Thunder Giant, and Thunder Giant's special ability is it can destroy anything whose original attack is lower than its. Even you activate its special ability, you could destroy it right off the bat because that Slifer's original attack- I'm just gonna call it Slifer. Screw what its actual name is, I'll never remember its actual name. But Slifer's original attack is zero. So, boom, you can get rid of it that easily. That's how easy you can get rid of a Sacred Beast. Or at least that one in particular. Um, as for the one that looks like Obelisk, I'm not sure what that one's weakness is, honestly. You know, unless you can... Think of some way to get a monster over 4,000 attack, which would be like getting out the strongest. Like for me, it would be like getting out the strongest elemental hero fusion that I have. And yeah, getting out the strongest uh, fusion. Uh, elemental hero fusion I have and then just continuously powering it up and then playing skyscraper for an extra 1,000 attack points But that still probably wouldn't be enough with all the equipped cards I have in my deck so yeah I really hope that music isn't getting recorded in the background in fact I'm moving my camera a bit away so that it may not sorry if you could hear that my camera getting moved. I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't capture the music because my mom's retarded and likes to play the music incredibly loud for no reason. I just know it's capturing it. I know it's capturing it. Alright, never mind, that was false alarm apparently. Because I just checked my recordings and I guess it's not capturing the music that my mom is playing retardedly loud. For no reason. But it just sounds like it's right in my room and it's. And it just gives me the feeling like, yeah, it, it's getting on audio and I'm gonna get a lot of people asking, you know, if I can keep the music out because they want to listen to the game music. You know, or game music or. Just pay attention to the game or something, not pay attention to our music. And I can't do anything about that. Whatever.
Whatever. Yeah. Uh, this duel, this duel for the video is almost over, and I hope you guys will enjoy the finale that we put up tomorrow. And by almost, I mean it's like th probably two or three minutes away from being over. But still, I hope you guys enjoyed the semi, this semi finale, and I hope you guys enjoyed tomorrow's finale video because hopefully tomorrow's finale. Will be fun, you know, the final duel that, you know, I did duel the guy several fucking times just to cheat my way to beating him. And by cheat, I don't mean I went back and got a card from the factory. Oh god, no, I would never do that. Well, I would never do that for the Let's Play. I do it, like, if I'm playing with, if I'm playing, like, for, like, on my own and not bothering to record it, you know, I'd, I'd do it just because it's fun to mess around with it. Like, I did it once and got, you know, messed around. You know, beating duelists with like Thinian, Andre Sphinx, and whatever the other one is. You know, when we're not beating him like that, and that was fun. Yeah. Whatever. Oh god, I just realized what she's listening to. Ugh, why? Whatever. Not my choice to have her listen to music. <laughs> Not my choice. Yeah. I honestly hated the end of this duel where Kagemaru all of a sudden starts getting like all of his coin calls right instead of, you know, because he was getting them wrong for the entire duel and now all of a sudden he's getting them right. But don't worry, that doesn't stop me from winning because he's about to summon one of his sacred beasts. A secret beast that I can easily deal away with because he summons the weakest of them all, which happens to also be my favorite in the original Yu Gi Oh! for some reason. I don't know why, but I guess I like the color red. I mean, it's not the strongest at all, it's actually the weakest of them, but it can become the strongest if you manage to play the right cards. Or in this game's case, manage to you know, get rid of the right cards. Whatever. 